Hello, my name is Adam and I'm pre-sales consultant at Stormit. Stormit as an AWS advanced partner can help you make the most of what AWS Cloud has to offer. Today we will take a look at the demo in AWS Management Console with AWS Backup and Systems Manager. We will create a VSS snapshot for our Win Windows EC2 instance. So just a little about VSS technology. VSS is uh, developed by Microsoft that allows backup applications to safely backup, locket and open files. So there is no need to restart the instance. It can be running when the backup is created. It can be used for consistent backups of SQL databases, for example, but also for any other Microsoft Windows volumes. We will go through that in AWS Management Console today, how to create these in AWS. Normal AWS snapshots can be inconsistent, basically. So here we have our simplified diagram. First, we will need a, an IAM role for EC2 instance that will allow Systems Manager to install the VSS package on this EC2 instance by systems manager run command and then we will create AWS backup plan with VSS enabled and we will try to go through the snapshot and try to restore it for our EC2 Windows instance. So let's go to the management console. So we are in the AWS management console and first thing what I want to do is go to EC2 and check my instance that should be here and running, which is a Windows instance and we want to create a VSS backup plan for this instance. How to do this? Uh, we first need to create an IAM role for Systems Manager and then create a specific run command in Systems Manager that will instance uh, that will install the VSS components on this win Windows instance. So I will go to IAM and create a new role for this instance. I don't have any role <coughs> attached to this instance. If you already have any roles attached to the instance, you can just change your current role to attach the policy that we will use. So I will create a new role here, click, <coughs> click on EC2 and click on next. We will need to find a role that will be called something like SSM Managed. Okay, and it will be this Amazon SSM Managed Instance Core and click on next. And we can name it just row for SSM. Yes, and we can create this role. It should take a couple of seconds. And we can go back to EC2 and attach this role to our instance. Okay, so in actions, click on security and go to modify IAM role and I will just select a role for SSM. Okay, and now I can go to systems manager and to check if our role is working, we can go to fleet manager and it it will take a couple of minutes till it's done and instance will be shown here. You can just click on this button and wait for a couple of minutes till it's here. And after a couple of minutes we have our instance here. So we can use the systems manager run command to install the VSS components on this instance. If you have multiple instances you can do the same as we done and just run command for multiple instances. So I will go to run command and go to run command and we will find the AWS configure AWS package like this 
okay and yes we will select this uh, we can leave it basically on default only thing that we will need to check is the part with the name the package to install basically and the name of our package is AWS VSS components like this you can leave the version empty because we want the latest version and we will choose instances ma manually as you can see they are here if you don't see your instances here I think that there is something wrong with the IAM role that you choose you should not see them also in the fleet manager and just go back to the instance and check if your role is set and ready and yes we don't need to write command output to amazon s3 bucket uh, and we don't need to select anything else so we just click on run and we will again wait for a couple of seconds or minutes till it's basically done and after a couple of seconds uh, the overall status of this command should be success and you can even go to the uh, to the output of this command so view output and here on in output you will find what was done on that instance there was something running in program files and as you can see it's done and su successfully installed the AWS VSS components so this should be ready what we need to do now uh, we need to go, go to AWS backup and prepare our backup plan for this instance we can go and create a new backup plan here so I will click on create backup plan and we will build our own plan we can call it something like Windows VSS uh, the rule can be again Windows VSS and we don't want to use any backup vaults uh, backup frequency could be daily and uh, we will want to customize backup window because I want it, want it to run when I need it so for me I will choose 10, uh, 8 and 10 minutes and I will start within one hour and complete within two hours uh, we don't want to transition to cold storage and retention period we will choose days and uh, we will choose se seven days for this we don't want to copy to another region it's not necessary at the moment and here is one of the main things here we want to use application consistent backup windows vss and yes we want to create a plan and yes we want to create this also so i will again choose my <coughs> my name and we will include specific resources we will choose ec2 and it will be only the instance that I need which is this Windows instance as you can see it's very simple to choose multiple instances so if you have multiple Windows instances you can just select them here and they are ready and you can use these backups uh, I don't want to exclude any resources I will assign resources and as you can see it's ready it should run in a couple of minutes as you can see i have created in 10 6 and yes uh, it's in a different time from utc so it should run in like five minutes we will see and we will check our backup so i have waited a couple of minutes uh, if you are using another time for the backups you will have 
to wait till it's done. You will see the last runtime here, uh, which is right now like 20 minutes in the past. So I will go to EC2 and check if our snapshot is ready and also the AMI. As you can see, the snapshot status is completed and AMI is also here. So what I want to do now, I will do a little change in my instance so it's visible uh, when we restore the old backup basically. So I will connect to my ESO2 instance with Windows. So I will go to RDP client, I will use the fleet manager because we already have that set it up on that instance. I already have the password so I will just click on fleet manager remote desktop it will open in a new tab I will use the, my username which is administrator and my password here and I will connect to this instance it should take only a couple of seconds and yes we are there I will full screen it and what I want to do now is I will just create uh, just a test folder here that shouldn't be in our snapshot that I that's why I'm doing it so I will leave it here and I can just end this session now so we have a new folder there actually did some change on our EC2 instance we can go back to EC2 and go to my volumes and check. Yes, here is our volume for that EC2 instance. We will basically create a new volume from our snapshot and change it for this. And we can actually simplify this process by going to instances and check this instance that we want to use and click on monitor and troubleshoot and click on replace root volume and it will be restored from the snapshot as you can see here is already written the root volume ID that will be changed and we can just use our snapshot that was created by AWS backup and as you can see you can also delete the replace it root volume or leave it like that it can be used for testing basically and I will create a replacement task and the volume task was created and we can go to volumes and check what is happening here and as you can see it's visible that there is some volume that was used in another time this will be the new one so I think it's all already in use and we can go back to instances and let's close this one and I think that if you go to storage you will see that there is different attached and its attached time is 1043 which is basically now so I will go to connect again and I will try to connect by using fleet manager again and yes we will want to use fleet manager I will just write my password and log in and as you can see we shouldn't see a forger and it is not here Yes, our instance was shut it down, so that's why it here. Because definitely when there is change in the root volumes, the Windows instance will be restarted. That's why it, it's happening. But as you can see, it works. Uh, we have created AWS backup snapshot and use it for our EC2 instance. And it should be consistent because we, consistent because we are using VSS backups. So we can go back to my presentation 
Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos about AWS services, subscribe to our channel or if you want to learn more about the other services, visit our website and blog. Links are in the description below. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact us.